inside, ladies. My name is Senior Drill Instructor Dwight T. Barnes. The first and last words I want to hear out of your stinking holes is, Sir, do I make myself clear? Sir, yes, sir. My goal is simple. As of right now, you are all maggots. You will not speak until spoken to. You will not sleep unless told to do so. When I ask you to jump, you will reply with, how high? Do you get me? Sir, yes, sir. What's your name, dirtbag? Sound off like you got a pair. Corporal Shepard, huh? Looks more like Corporal Dog Meat to me. Seems your name was mysteriously bumped to the top of the advanced training list. My suggestion to you is to get your ass down to the training center and report to Drill Instructor Sharp ASAP. Now move it, Corporal. Where are you from, soldier? Texas? Holy cow! You know what comes from Texas, don't you? You eyeballing me, boy? You had better square yourself away, maggot. I smell smoke, and where there's smoke, there's fire. You better move it, soldier. This is a restricted area, soldier. I'm sorry, Corporal, this is a restricted area. All right, maggot, listen up! I don't care what your previous outfit was like, but around here we do things my way! Follow my instructions carefully, and by the end of the day I'll have you eating danger and cropping victory! Now move your butt, soldier! I will meet you on the other side in the armory! You better move like you got a purpose! Mounted on the wall below me, you will see a PCB! This is a powered combat vest! Use it correctly and I guarantee it will save your life! Your PCB is able to recharge with battery power, or it can interface and recharge with commercial, military, and HEV charging stations! What are you waiting for? Grab that PCB and get it fully charged! Trust me, maggot, you're gonna need it! I'll meet you in the next area to demonstrate some of your best capabilities!
alive! Step over to the morgue and this will be demonstrated for you! As you can see, you are not dead! Your PCB absorbed the damage at the cost of some of its power! Keep your PCB charged and your chances of survival in the field are very high! Proceed to the next area! You're going to have to pick up the pace, dirtbag! My beloved core does not have the patience to wait around for your worthless butt! The following areas will simulate many of the environmental hazards you are likely to encounter in the field. Run through it as quickly as you can and try to avoid taking too much damage. A dead marine is a worthless marine! I will see you up ahead if you can make it through alive. In addition to providing protection, your PCV has other capabilities. Once the light goes out, the door in front of you will open. Activate your night vision goggles to navigate this maze and exit on the other side. Now move like you got a purpose! You may just have what it takes to be a soldier. Now double time it over to the next portion of your training. Move it! Move it! All right, maggots, let's see if you can move your butt through my obstacle course. On your mark, get set, go, go, go! Run up and over those platforms. Move, move, move! Duck, now jump! Get your sorry ass moving! Get your ass down that hill! Scale that wall! Hurry it up! My dear sweet grandmother moves faster than you, dirtbag! Get over that beam! I thought we were training soldiers here! Are you trying to embarrass me? Proceed to the next area! Come on, double time it! Move, move, move! Let's see if you can climb faster than you can run! Ready? Very good! Maybe there's hope for you yet! Now, wanna come up here and try to knock me off? You can definitely climb jump! Catch that rope and use your momentum to swing across that water! This might take more coordination than you have, soldier! I want you to swing from rope to rope and meet me at the end of the course! I'm almost impressed, soldier. Meet me in the next section and let's see if I can shake you up a bit. You better move like you got a purpose! Okay, soldier, this is a live fire exercise! This run will give you a taste of what it's like to be in the field. Keep your head low and move between cover. I want to see your face in the dirt, soldier! Go, go, go! Climb that rope ladder! Get your ass up there! Hit the dirt, soldier! Actually, man. 
favorite training exercise in one piece. Very good, soldier. Move on for your next phase of training. Your weapon is your best friend. It is your only friend. And to be more effective, soldier, you must master your weapon. On the table, you will see your standard issue sidearm. Pick it up and step over to the pistol range. The object of this exercise is to familiarize yourself with the functions and use of your weapon. The goal is for you to place six shots within the inner circle of each target. You may begin! Proceed to the next section of the training course. Thanks, Corporal. This exercise will train you in the use of a long-range sniper rifle. Proceed to the table, pick up the sniper rifle, and position yourself on the firing line. In this exercise, you will be firing at targets both moving and stationary at medium, long, and extreme ranges. As you will notice, your sniper rifle comes equipped with a scope. Use this scope to magnify your view, making the distant targets easier to see. In the distance, you will notice three stationary targets partially concealed. Hit each of these targets to advance to the next stage of targets. Let's see how you do with simple moving targets at that range, soldier. Very good. Now let's see if you can hit the moving targets at long range. Make sure to take your time and line up those shots, soldier. Make sure to take careful aim, soldier. Patience is key for those crucial shots. Not bad, not bad at all, soldier. Now let's see if you can do the same at extreme range. Actually shoot! I'd actually consider letting you cover my ass in a firefight! I'm finished with you, soldier! Proceed to the next area and report to the next drill instructor! Thanks, Corporal! Alright, dirtbag! You've proven yourself a capable grunt! Now let's see if there's any leadership qualities in that sorry carcass of yours! To become an effective leader, you must familiarize yourself with the skill set of each soldier in your platoon. The first type of soldier you will meet is the engineer. Engineers have a knack for getting you in and out of places that are otherwise inaccessible. Take charge and have him follow you to the sealed door. Yes, sir. Stand back, Corporal. This should only take a minute. See, this soldier may prove quite useful in the field. 
Once you've breached the room, proceed through the door and meet the next type of soldier. The medic can be one of the most valued soldiers on the field. They have the ability to heal both you and your fellow squad members. To receive medical attention, simply hold down your use key and the medic will apply first aid. Once the medic has attended to your wounds, proceed to the next area to complete your training. This might sting a bit. Listen up, soldier! During the course of your missions, you may not be in direct contact with your squad. In these situations, you will need to utilize any available military radios. These radios can be used to call in reinforcements or gain vital military intelligence. Approach the radio and use it, soldier! I hear you loud and clear. We'll move to your position. Congratulations, soldier! You're no longer a low-life maggot! I'm proud to say you are a soldier! I'm sure you'll be a credit to your unit. Now report to duty, soldier! Welcome to the Black Mesa Hazard Course for Security Guard Training. I'll be your holographic guide to assist you in your training. Begin by putting on your vest and helmet. You'll find this equipment in the next room. Whenever you see one of these buttons, press it and I'll repeat instructions or show you how things are done. Here you will find your standard armor vest and helmet. These will help protect you against any physical threat you may encounter while performing your duties. When your armor becomes too damaged to be useful, you'll need to find a fresh vest or helmet to protect yourself. Moving around in your armor may be a little tricky at first. Take a moment to get a feel for moving around. Once you get comfortable with this, proceed to the next section just around the corner. you'll need to practice is jumping. You'll have to get over all three of these obstacles in order to proceed. It helps to get a running start. Watch me do it, then try it yourself. Good work. Please proceed to the next one. You'll need to duck up at the next set of obstacles. When you crawl in a crouched position, you can move very silently. This can be very useful when you don't want to be heard. Very good. I hardly noticed you. Come on to the next area. Now, try combining moves. You'll need to jump, duck, and then jump again. This should get you prepared for the next room, where you'll have to do both moves at the same time. Good work. You look prepared for the next To get into these pipes, you'll need to perform a duck jump. You'll want to stand right at the mouth of the pipe. While moving forward, jump up and hold the jump button to go into a crouch in midair. It may be tricky at first, but you'll find it comes in handy to be able to jump and duck into tight areas. Nice work. Walk directly into the ladder, look up, and continue moving forward. If you want to climb back down, just move backward. The next four jumps get more difficult each time. Don't worry if you make the last one a few times, just climb up and do it again. If you can make all the jumps in a continuous run, you're doing just fine.
start the lift, walk up to the button and press the use key while facing it. Now that you're up here, there's only one way down. Find the target on the floor below and do your best to hit it. You may take some damage from the fall, but don't worry about it. We'll give you some first aid in the next section. You'll find medical kits like this one throughout the Black Mesa Research Facility. To restore your health, walk up to a med kit, then press and hold your use key. Your health will recover gradually until you're at full health or until the kit is depleted. Once the light goes out, a med kit cannot be reused. You may also find HEV charging stations such as this one throughout the facility. These stations, however, can only be used by qualified science personnel wearing powered hazardous environment equipment, so they will be inaccessible to you during your duties. To spin that bridge, walk up to the control wheel and press the use key. Great job! Sometimes you'll need to rely on quick reflexes to get around. Try jumping this gap on your own. What you really need to do is push the box down into the pit. Pushing is easy. Just move forward into the box and you can push it into position. If you can't push an obstacle out of the way, you might try pulling it. To pull a box, move up to it and press your use key. While holding down the use key, move backwards and the box will be pulled with you. Nothing else works, so you can try breaking things that block your path. Pick up the crowbar and smash your way through the boxes. You'll need to use your flashlight for the next area. Great! Remember, your flashlight will lose power over time, so switch it off when you don't need it. When the flashlight is off, it will recharge itself. Welcome to the Black Mesa Training Target Range. You'll get a chance to fire your weapon, reload, and fire the attached grenade launcher. Collect your equipment and proceed to the firing station. You'll need to hit every target to complete the course. If you miss, don't worry about it. The targets will keep moving until you manage to score a hit. If you want to get through the target range as quickly as possible, try reloading during pauses instead of letting your gun run out of ammunition at a critical time. To fire the grenade launcher, use the alternate fire button. Some targets can only be destroyed by lobbing grenades. I'll start the sequence in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. target range. You may advance to the next area. Your heads up display will let you know when oxygen becomes critical. That means you'll need to find some clean air to breathe. As you swim through this course, your blood oxygen levels will begin to drop. At the midpoint, you'll be given an opportunity to surface for air. Turn up 
to the surface and catch your breath. You regain health lost from holding your breath too long once you've made it to the surface for air. Go ahead and swim on to the next section. If you pass through fire or steam, you'll see damage icons come up in your heads-up display. Directional indicators at the center of your display will show you from what direction damage is coming. Proximity to radiation activates a Geiger counter and radiation display in your helmet. Many other biological and chemical hazards are also indicated in your heads-up display. Please proceed to the next section. Lead a scientist into the next room. He will open the door that leads back into the transit system. To have someone follow you, approach the person and press your Use key. He will then follow you until you face him and press the Use key again. Yes. I will follow you if you wish. Yes, I will follow you if you wish. This is as far as I go. Access granted. Press your use key to engage the train. Once engaged, move forward or backward to increase or decrease the speed of the train. Press the use key a second time to disengage from the train. Congratulations on completing the Black Mesa Hazard Course for Security Guards. You're now certified to join the Blue Shift High Security Unit. Oh dear, why aren't these sensors working? I wonder if they're needed for today's training run. Ah, oh, good morning, Gordon. Welcome to the Black Mesa Training Facility. Things are in a state of commotion this morning, but the training facility software should be in working condition. Please listen carefully, as there is a little paperwork to take care of before we get started. Oh, I see that you have already signed our legal disclaimer. I, Gordon Freeman, hereby agree to the following terms, blah, 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 in any case of serious injury, dismemberment, toxic poisoning, burns, rashes, lesions, blah, blah, etc., etc., hereby agree to waive all rights as an employee of the Black Mesa facility. Okay, very good. And if there are no questions, then please step through this door to begin your training. Welcome to the Black Mesa Hazard Course, where you will be trained in the use of the hazardous environment suit. I am your holographic assistant. Let's begin by stepping into your suit. You can see it suspended up ahead of you. If you see one of these buttons, press it, and I will appear to demonstrate certain moves. Welcome to the HEV Mark IV Protective System. For use in hazardous environment conditions. Moving 
Driving around in your HEV suit can be slightly disorienting at first. Take a moment to familiarize yourself with basic movement, and soon it will fit you like a second skin. I will see you just around the corner. The first move we will practice in the hazard course is basic jumping. You will attempt to get over this set of pipes using only your run and jump commands. It helps to get a running start. Watch me and then try it yourself. You will now duck under the next set of obstacles. Please note that crouching will automatically shift your suit into stealth mode, minimizing movement noise. Very good. I hardly noticed you. On to the next area. Now we will combine skills. You will need to jump, duck, and then jump again. This will prepare you for the next room, where you will have to do both moves at the same time. Good work. You look prepared for the next To get into these pipes, you will have to signal your suit to make a duck jump. You'll want to stand right at the mouth of the pipe and continue to press forward. Then jump up, and while you're in mid-air, go into a crouch. It's tricky, but you'll find it comes in handy. Nice job. Walk directly into the ladder, look up, and continue moving forward. If you want to come back down, just move backward. The next three jumps get harder each time, but they are quite possible. Don't be surprised if you miss the last one a time or two. If you can make all three in a continuous run, you are doing well. Great work. Now there's one more style of jumping you need to learn. Long jumping requires its own charging module, seen here. To activate your long jump, you will have to duck and move forward, and then launch into a jump. Once you're up on the platform, press the button and I will demonstrate the move. Nice job. Please start the lift by moving up to the button, looking at it, and pressing the use key. Now that you're up here, there's only one way down. Find the target on the floor below and do your best to hit it. If you take any damage from the fall, we will administer medical care at the next station. You will find med kits like this one throughout the Black Mesa compound. To restore your health, walk up to a med kit and press your use key. Your health will recover gradually until you are at full health or the kit is depleted. Once the light goes out, a med kit cannot be reused. <laughs> to spin that bridge, walk up to the control wheel and press the use key. Fantastic. Sometimes you'll need to rely on more than just your suit to get through a tight place. Try jumping this gap on your own. 
What you really push that box down into the pit. Pushing is easy. Just move forward against the box and you can push it into position. If you can't push the obstacle out of your way, you might try pulling it. To pull a box, move up to it and press your use key. While holding down the use key to keep a grip on the box, move slowly backward. The box will come along with you. Finally, if nothing else works, you can try breaking the objects in your path. Make sure you picked up the crowbar, then simply smash your way through the debris. Activate your suit flashlight for the next area. Remember your flashlight drains power, so switch it off when you don't need it. Welcome to the Black Mesa target range, where you will receive training in firing a weapon, reloading, and firing the attached grenade launcher. Please pick up your weapon and advance to the firing station. You'll have to hit every target in order to complete the course. But if you miss the first time, don't worry. It will come around again. Try to reload during pauses rather than waiting to run out of ammunition at a critical time. To fire your grenade launcher, use your alternate fire button. Certain targets will break only when hit by grenades. Commencing sequence in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Please advance to the next area. Your ATV suit monitors blood oxygen levels, warning you when you need to find an air supply. As you swim through this course, your oxygen levels will begin to drop. At the midpoint, you will be given an opportunity to surface for air. blood oxygen indicator on your suit's heads-up display returning to its previous level. You are free to swim on to the end of the course. This is the charging unit for your hazardous environment suit. When you are running low on power, step up to the your suit will recharge gradually until the charge unit is depleted. Individual batteries may also be used to charge your suit. If you pass through fire or steam, you will see a heat damage icon lighting up. Directional indicators at the center of your display show you where damage is coming from. To radiation, activate the Geiger counter and radiation display. Biohazards are also indicated with a luminous icon. Please advance to the next area.
security guard into the next room. He will let you back into the transit system. You must approach a guard and press your use key. He will follow you until you face him and press the use key again. Access denied. Access is denied. Sure, I'll follow you. Yes, I will follow you if you wish. This is as far as I go. Press your use key to engage the train. Press your forward and backward keys to increase or decrease the speed of the train. Press your use key again to disengage from the train. Congratulations on completing the Black Mesa Hazard Course. You are now fully certified for use of the HEV Mark IV protective system. Good morning, and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the comfort and convenience of Black Mesa residents and visitors to the Black Mesa Research Facility. The time is 8.42 a.m. Current topside temperature is 91. This is a medium security area of 
the Black Mesa facility. Be sure to wear your identification badge at all times. responding to your pass ID. Let me see if I can get it open on this side. Good morning, and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. Uh -huh. The time is 8.47 okay, a.m. Current topside temperature <laughs> is... Sorry about that, Calhoun. We've been having problems all over the facility this morning. System crashes, security malfunctions. It's a wonder this whole place hasn't shut down yet. Shouldn't you be on duty by now? This train is inbound. Level 3 dormitories to Sector C test. I'm a little busy right now, Calhoun. Calhoun, you know you can't go on duty without your sidearm and uniform. Sector C. You will need to return to the Central Transit Hub in Area 9 and board a HALA security train. If you have not yet submitted your identity to the retinal clearance system, you must report to Black Mesa personnel for processing before you will be permitted into the high security branch of the transit system. Smoking, eating, or drinking are permitted within the Black Mesa transit system. Please keep your limbs inside the train at all times. Do not I attempt can't to access my files. I can't access my mail. I haven't even been able to get into my office. In I know, event, sir, I know. We're doing everything we can to get the problem under control. Just give us some time. Time? I don't have any more time. If I'm not able to get my report to the administrator in the next hour, then my job will be in serious jeopardy. And I'll make sure that mine is not the only one. to an emergency station until assistance arrives. Nice of you to show up this morning, Calhoun. Yeah, yeah, I know. Problems with the access system. Hope you're ready for a long shift. facility. The semi-finals will be announced in a separate secure access transmission. Remember, more lives than your own may depend on your fitness. Do you have a friend or relative who would make a valuable addition to the Black Mesa team? And low clearance security. Contact Black Mesa personnel. Theoretical physics, biotechnology, or other high tech disciplines. Please contact our civilian. Uh oh, now 
Now what? Looks like some people are having problems with the main access lift in Sector G. Why don't you go over there and see what you can do? A reminder to all Black Mesa personnel. Regular radiation and biohazard screenings are a requirement of continued employment in the Black Mesa Research Facility. Missing a scheduled urinalysis or radiation checkup is grounds for immediate termination. If you feel you have been exposed to radioactive or other hazardous materials in the course of your duties, contact your radiation safety officer immediately. Work safe. Work smart. Your future depends on it. Now arriving at Sector C test labs and control facilities. Please stand back from the automated door and wait for the security officer to verify your identity. Before exiting the train, be sure to check your area for personal belongings. Thank you, and have a very safe and productive day. Morning, Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're running late. How's it going? Here you go, Calhoun. I know you're not on the schedule for a couple more days, but if you want to squeeze in a few shots in the range, there's plenty of room. some problems down in the test chamber too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. Ridiculous ties. Let me get 
Don't you have more important things to be doing than keeping me from my work? Ladies, be careful out there. Ladies, be careful out there. Ladies, be careful out there. Ladies, be careful out What are you doing? <laughs>
a good one, Calhoun. What in the hell is going on with our equipment? It wasn't mentioned. better off walking it. I overheard someone say that all the trams on this end of the facility are having problems. Testing. Testing. <coughs> Everything seems to be in order. All right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable. The refreshment will be delivered to you in a moment. If you would be so good as to sign up and start the rotors, we can bring my best pick from her.
you've survived. Those HEV suits of yours are well designed, Dr. Cross. Doctors, we have formulated a plan. You must escort Rosenberg to the surface, help him call for help. I couldn't possibly make it in my chair. I'll stay behind and assess the damage to our equipment and the extent of the cascade. Maybe I can find a clue as to what went wrong and how we can write... I don't like the idea of leaving you here, but it seems we have no choice. Let me activate the service lift. There's a shortcut through the training area that will get you to the surface. Good luck. All right, let's go.
I'm afraid to move him and all our phones are out. Please, get to the surface as soon as you can and let someone know we're stranded down here. You'll need me to activate the retinal scanners. I'm sure the rest of the science team will gladly help you. Let's go. The first move we will practice is passing the jumping. You will attempt to get over this set of pipes using only your run and jump commands. It helps to get a running start. Watch me and then try it yourself. chance if we team up. Security override active. Security. 
You'll have to hit every target in order to complete the course. But if you miss the first time, don't worry. It will come around again. Try to reload during pauses rather than waiting to run out of ammunition. Commencing sequence in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Sentry guns are active. It's suicide to go out there, but it is the only way to the service. We're going to have to destroy them. Come on. 
I hope you know what you're doing. Wouldn't you like to get one of these Nothing blood the samples on your microscope? If we click it up, the people below may have a chance. Behind this fence is a separate communication center we can use to communicate with military personnel outside of Black Mesa. The military has the best chance of being able to secure the facility and they'll be able to escort us to safety. Let's go. The dimensional breach is definitely transmitting organic matter. side of this door to let me in. I'll wait here. The way is too dangerous for me, but you'll be protected by the hazard suits. Ha! <laughs> 
made it. The control room is just up the stairs. Quick, come with me. The satellite dish is not aligned. One of you needs to go down and rotate the dish. The instruments in this room will tell us when the dish is positioned correctly. Grant money. Being rotated. Once our engine is hit the switch to complete the uplink. Excellent. We should now have a working uplink. I'll test it. Dr. Keller. Dr. Keller, do you read me? We've established the uplink and are transmitting the emergency signal. Good work, but there's no time to wait for the military. I need the team down here immediately. The gathering field is going critical. must be reset. I understand. I'll send them down. Out. Listen, I can wait here for the military to arrive, but you're needed to help with the situation down below or others will be put in peril. You've done your job here. Now get below and reach Dr. Keller. Be careful, both of you. Hopefully I'll see you on the outside. Gordon. Oh, 
Ooh, what's that stench? Okay, I'll cover you. I'll stay here and guard this area. Roger that. Let's run like hell. You go on without me. Okay, I'll secure this here. Okay, we might live longer if we work together. Okay, I'll wait here and help anyone else who comes by. Oh, what's that stench? In order to reset the dampening fields, you'll have to reset the dampening locks manually. There are two secondary locks and one primary one. The dampening conduits are massive in finding the lock. Someone will pay for this mess. Now you'll have to reset the secondary lock first. Only the primary conduit is strong enough to support a full flow, and I honestly can't guarantee it for Let's see how the area is holding up. Uh, I can use this console to transmit directly to your suit's audio system. Let's try it out. Hmm. Test. Testing. Excellent. Excellent. I'll be able to communicate with you anywhere. Be wary, my friends. Resetting the locks will probably put quite a strain of pressure in these valves, and they may cause... I promise you. This is over. Heads will roll. This place has turned, my friends. Man, 
see that shot?
so.
Finding us down here. Head for the surface. Elevators are out of order, but we can still climb. Yeah, let's go. Yes, let's go. I'm going to stay here and wait for my color. Okay, I'll secure this. Yeah, we might stand a better chance. All right. You are going to have to leave me here, Gordon.
Lead the way. Yeah, uh, let's get the hell out of here. I'll wait. You go on without me. Roger that. Let's run like... You are from the anomalous materials. Yes, I Okay, I'll wait here and help anyone else who comes by. without the all clear codes. Now any security guard in the storm complex should have the codes we need. Go to the dorms and find the security guard. I'll take the tram around to the north side where we can pick you up. Good luck.
personnel to topic biological, chemical, and earth. Ah, it's good to see you. Ah, Freeman. I see you are in this mess too. have a unique parasitic strategy asking okay.
on the guard. Good job. I presume you've got the all clear codes for the satellite delivery rocket? Sure do. You got a plan? Yes. Once the satellite is in orbit, we can orchestrate a resonance reversal that may seal the rift between Earth and the alien world. You look good in orange.
Well, so much for the government. Their idea of containment is to kill everyone associated with the project. Judging from your hazard suit, I'd say you were part of what went wrong. Isn't that right? Now look, if anyone can end this catastrophe, it's the science team and the Lambda complex at the opposite end of the base. With the transit system out, I couldn't tell you how to get there. But there's an old decommissioned rail system somewhere through here, beyond the silo complex. If you can make it through the rocket test lab, you might be able to worm your way through the old tunnels to track down whatever's left of the Lambda team. You can trust them. You can trust all of us. Good luck. <laughs>
Calhoun! How did you get through the power lock? Well, it doesn't matter. The only other way out of here is through the canal. If you do make it to the surface, don't tell anyone I'm down here. I think they're trying to kill us all. Now get out of here. The canal is where you want to be. Please leave me alone. I don't want them to hear us. If you want to escape, go through the canal. I hope no one expects me to start up the generator. It never came down there and it never came back.
This is my hiding spot, and I'm not moving until the situation is constantly improved. Now go away, and don't tell anyone I'm here.
our disposal from the enemy. Just because Shepard's team didn't make it, we have to do the crap jobs? Well, let's get on with it. straight to the surface. I would try it myself, but it's a long way down to the generator room, and there are things in the way.
can't seem to do it from here, and the maintenance hatch to the basement controls is locked. You'll have to raise the beacon then. Find it, and I'll contact you again. Appreciate your help, but I'm afraid those bastards did their damage already. <laughs> if you were trying to reach the freight yards in hope of escaping, then just forget about it. The military is rounding up everyone and everything they can find, and either killing them or bringing them up here for questioning. A colleague and I came up with our own plan for escape, and we were on our way to one of the old prototype labs when we ran into them. But listen to me, if you still want to get out of here alive, your only hope may be to find my friend. <laughs> if you can get past the soldiers, find Dr. Rosenberg. With him, you may have a chance to get out of this place. I've been waiting for you. One of your scientist pals said to give you a message. You're supposed to take this old rail system up to some kind of satellite delivery rocket. I don't know where it is exactly, and the old guy was so worried about getting out of here alive, he didn't tell me. 
Main thing is, the military aborted the launch. So when you do find the rocket, you'll have to get up to the control room and launch it yourself. He said something about a Lambda team needing the satellite in orbit if they were ever going to clean up this mess.
No. I'm not Dr. Rosenberg. I'm not Dr. Rosenberg, but you'll still help me, won't you?
though I'm partially responsible for all of this. How did you know my name? Oh, I see. Poor Harold. Yes, our plan was to get to one of the old prototype labs. It involved something that very few people in the facility are authorized to know about. The same technology that brought about this catastrophe could also be our only way out. You see, I was involved in the very early work on teleporter technology, long before the Lambda Complex was even built. There may be enough equipment in the old lab to piece together a device that would allow us to teleport outside of the facility. As improbable as that may sound to someone like yourself. Of course, none of that does a whole lot of good while we're stuck in here. Hmm, perhaps I could help boost you through that vent in the ceiling. If you're lucky, you might be able to take those soldiers by surprise. Let's try this.
right. Now we'll need to head back to the area where you met Harold. The access to the old lab should still be there, but we may have to break through some of the newer construction to get to it. Let's go. Calhoun. Lead the way, Calhoun. This is no time to rest. We must keep going. Let's stick together. Up those stairs, we can access the alien quarantine lab. Scientists working there might have been overcome by the very quick We need you to get inside those labs and activate a beam matrix which powers the displacement beacon. You won't find much help in activating the system, but I'm sure with your training it will be a simple matter. Stick together. We're almost there. Yes, here it is. We need to break through this to get to the elevator. I'll break through the door. I can remotely operate the elevator. That we should have chosen the Lambda device. Reactor for an escape, but the crew there is bent on fighting the creatures. All their hopes set on someone in Freeman. Let those fools try and fight a battle they can't win. I just want to get out of here. Thank you. 
Unfortunately, this older technology does not have the ability to target an Earth destination in its current state. You see, Mr. Calhoun, teleportation isn't as easy as going to point A to point B. I discovered a strange border world that was somehow involved in the process, which kept us from accurately predicting where any given teleportation would be back on Earth. Some of the more promising research on the matter led to a device that could be attached to found on this border world. Now, this device could then be used as a focal point and a relay to aid in the teleportation. Well, in theory, the device is gone. We lost contact with the program shortly after the device was installed. All of the equipment in this lab uses the older technology. In order for many of us to get out of here alive, Someone will have to go to the border world and activate the device. I'm not the only one who can do this, seeing as how everyone else will be needed to operate the equipment. We should be able to get fairly close to where the survey team is set up. We have a lot of people in the way of the base is very high. Once you find the device, simply power it on and align the emitters until the signal reaches maximum strength. We'll reopen the teleporter for your return once we receive the signal, but you must hurry back, as we can only keep it open for a short amount of time. All right, I'm going to initiate the teleporter charging sequence now. Be ready, Mr. Calhoun. Once the field is open, it will become unstable very quickly. Kevin, can you hear me? It's ready.
capacitor is now 80%.
looks as though you were able to get the device operational. The signal we're getting is very strong, but I'm afraid I have some bad news. The power reserves were just enough to open the field for your trip to the border world. If we plan on keeping the teleporter open long enough to calculate a safe exit point and allow time for everyone to go through, someone will have to go to the lower level and retrieve another power cell. A few of our colleagues went down there a while ago, but we haven't heard from them since. And only clear for the worst. I hate to keep putting you in this position, but you must realize that if someone doesn't go down there, then none of us will get out of here alive. Besides, you're the best equipped to deal with any dangers that may be waiting. Here, I'll show you to the access elevator that leads to the power generator. Follow me. service this lab. You should find what we're looking for down there. Once you've located a new power cell, make sure it's charged and send it up the brake there. Good luck. the Lambda complex, then you'll want to keep to the older industrial areas where the security system is full of bones.
nice hit.
I was hoping you'd show up. You have to get this power cell charged and back up to Dr. Rosenberg. I'd help, but I'm hurt pretty bad. You can probably push the power cell through the fence into the charging station behind me. Let me see if I can get out of the way. Oh. We've already begun preparing the device with the fresh power cell you sent up. This time, however, the process is going to be a bit more complex, so I'll need you to help me in the main room. Let's hurry. There's no time to waste. Stay down here to monitor the system levels and direct the procedure. I need you to climb up to the control room and activate the main power. Once the process has started, you'll also need to release the damping locks each time the system has charged in order to open the displacement field. Don't worry, Mr. Calhoun. The process is simple, and I'll let you know when you need to do something. What are you waiting for, Calhoun? Get up to the control room and locate the main power switch. Very good. Stand by, Calhoun. Once the system is initialized, it'll take a few moments for the interpolating resonance coils to achieve focus. Very 
good, Calhoun. I'll be charging the system for the next teleport event. There he is! Calhoun, you've arrived! When you didn't come through right away, we thought that the... Oh no, there's something wrong here. Simmons, come look at Calhoun! His body seems to be in some sort of resonance displacement... Function occurred at the last moment and you might have been caught in an infinite harmonic reflux. If that's the case, then you're lucky to be standing here. Then again, we're all lucky. Thanks to you, however, we were actually able to pull off this half-brained idea. We made it, Mr. Calhoun. We made it.
Hey, it's no good up there. It's all sealed off. The only way out would be to find someone with scanner access who can open the front door. I'm pretty sure there's a few scientists hiding somewhere in the labs. Maybe with both of us looking, we can track them down and get them to let us out. Okay, we might live longer if we work together. Okay, I'll cover you. I'll stay here and guard this area.
Let's get the hell out of here. Okay, I'll wait here and help anyone else who comes by.
God, get us out of here before those military drones figure out where we're hiding. We all have retinal scanner access. Escort us to the lobby, and we can get out of the lab. You'll have to shut down the surgical unit first. Peter switched it on, but I'm afraid he never made it back. You ask, I'm warning you, it's hell out there. It's completely under military control. You'll have to sneak and fight your way from one end to the other, and I don't expect you'll meet many of our peers along the way. But if you do survive and somehow make it across the base, you'll end up at the Lambda Complex, where the rest of the science team has taken shelter. I wouldn't venture there myself, but I will let them know that you are coming.
Oh, you've woken up. Corporal Shepard, is it? I've read the tag on your uniform. I'm glad to see my life-saving efforts weren't in vain. I can't say the same for him. I'm afraid you have been through a serious accident. Most of your friends didn't make it. I was hoping that you soldiers had come to rescue us, but now it seems we are all in the same situation. Perhaps you can go there and take your own help? Survival with you. Sorry, uh, Shepard, sir. Uh, you know, I was told not to open this door for you until you agreed to help us. Besides, you wouldn't want to go out there without your armor vest anyway. I, I, I left it for you where the other soldiers are getting treated. Just, uh, you know, come on back here when you found it. Yeah, I think I'll stay here and die. Crab creatures have a unique parasitic strategy, don't you think? Have you ever seen such a magnificent species? These crabs can completely control their host's nervous system. Can you imagine what the next stage of mutation looks like? You're heading for the Lambda Complex, aren't you? I was heading there myself until I wound up here. So, my well, reputation precedes me. Take one look through that door and you'll see what I mean. Okay, Shepard, I see you I'm found your power vest. That should keep here. you safe out you there. On, then I now, I've heard rumors that you troops may not possible. actually be here to rescue us. Just don't forget about us out there. Alrighty? Okay, I'll let you know. Good luck, sir. All right, let's go. You go on. Down.
Sarah Godfrey report to Inspection Laboratory 6 immediately.
This train is from Sector C. Please keep your lens inside the train at all times. Associated with the background in the areas of theoretical physics, biotechnology, or other high-tech disciplines. Machines? Why don't these ever seem to work? Hey, uh, you wouldn't have a quarter I can borrow, would ya? Oh yeah, sure, we'll work better as the team. about you. I'd love to hang that over my fireplace. Have you seen the new IG-88? No, I haven't. What is that, Doc? I don't know. I've never seen that species before. It's okay, sir. I can take it. <laughs> No! No! I don't want to die! Ah! Those poor bastards. <laughs> Believe it or not, I was a wuss in high school. I know it's hard to believe. That's, it's only a flesh wound. And I was supposed to play bridge tonight. Oh no. You're one of the... them. Can't we just get along?
Believe me, Freeman could be anywhere. I'm not letting yes. you go until you talk. This is my post, sir.
soldiers under orders to silence the facility or these vile aliens.
all the fighting started, I hid myself here. I don't think any of them above have survived. Those pumps who flood the reactor. All right, you and scout ahead. Access. At your I command, sir. We'll take you to the core. Time is short. Clear this area. The current situation is looking pretty grim. You 
What are you doing down there? Listen, we need to get our asses down to the extraction point near Lambda Sector. With any luck, we'll even get a shot at Freeman on our way out. Now, this transit system should take us there, but the door is sealed up pretty tight. Jeez, where's an engineer when you need one?
Now, I wonder if those boys could have made a bigger mess. Only drill instruct you got it, Corporal. I'll be right behind you. Corporal. in the mission briefing. Yeah, I mean, we're all on the same team, right? Right? Well, I'm not sure what their mission is, but we need to keep moving. There's gotta be a transit car somewhere on these tracks. This whole operation! Yes, sir! 
Seem like Disneyland. Boy, this is the first mission. I was told to guard this area. Check in. The current situation is looking pretty grim. Get out of here alive. I'm gonna buy you all a round of beer. I was told this is gonna be a babysitting job. Uh, roger that. Gordon Freeman, who finally found us. So this is the guy. We thought you'd never make it. This is the supply depot for our first survey team. Quite a few handsome specimens were collected from the building and they were brought back this way. Before the survey members started being collected themselves, that is. We suspect there is an immense portal over there, created by the intense concentration of a single powerful being. You will know it when you see it. I hate to say this, Gordon, but you must kill it if you can. Yeah, you'd better kill it. Okay, of I'll course, secure this you owe us nothing, Mr. Freeman, but you've come this far. You know as much about these creatures as anyone. Enough to know that if you don't wipe it out, there won't be much for you to come home. Yes. So, if you're willing, my colleague is waiting for you at the main portal controls. He will open the gates for you, Mr. Freeman. Do hurry. Don't forget to gear up, and I'll cover you while you're waiting for that portal to warm up. This is the 
Freeman is a long jump module created expressly for navigation in the world beyond. I certainly hope you receive long jump training, because once you're in Zen, you will need it. I would advise you to practice before crossing over. your long jump if you must, but hurry up! To signal your suit to make a duck jump. 
you'll want to stand right at the mouth of the pipe and continue to press forward. Then jump up, and while you're in mid-air, go into a crouch. It's tricky, but you'll find it comes in handy. I don't know. 
in the flesh, or rather in the hazard suit, I took the liberty of relieving you of your weapons, though most of them were government property. As for the suit, I think you earned it.
Hey, man, good to see you. Wow, I can't believe you made it past those masked freaks. Those snipers have pinned us down here pretty good. We tried making a break for it, but they know we're here. They're just waiting for their shots, and those bastards are patient. Recon! Sweep that sector! Affirmative, sir! I got your six! Flank them! I'll tag them, you bag them. I'm a natural born alien killer. Sniper school sure paid off today.
what I'm talking about. Did you see that one, Corporal?
assignment. I was told to guard this area. This place makes boot camp seem like Disneyland. It's Shepard. Hey, stand back and I'll cut it. We're gonna need your help. I got a bad feeling about this mission. Sir! It's good to see another man in uniform. Uniform. It's a real mess out there. I mean, these things are coming out of the damn walls. Ain't no way around them either. They just keep coming! I heard about some kind of big standoff at the dam up ahead. I say we make our break for it now. It ain't gonna get any better, that's for sure. And I bet they could use our help. Shepard! You're a sight for sore eyes. I got a bad feeling about this mission. Uh, roger that. <coughs> Government cover-ups were not in my job description. Squad, quiet down. At your command, sir. Moving out, Corporal. I will not fail you, sir. Uh, roger that. <coughs> okay, check in. It's 
sniper school sure paid off today.
Shepard, I don't know what those black ops are up to, but it doesn't involve getting us out of here alive. We've got no choice but to fight our way out. Let's go! Yes, sir! Let's get the hell out of here!
by a group of black ops. We'll open the bunker door, but you better get over here quick.
Now don't hurt me, and I'll tell you a secret. I've been hiding up here listening. These black ops have some sort of bomb. I think they're planning on blowing up the base. Now, now why do you think they would do such a thing? Are you crazy? I'm not opening this door until someone turns that bomb off. Be careful with that thing. One false move and this whole facility is gone. I've got it covered. You just keep your eyes open. There's still some targets running around out there. That was a close one. You better get in here. It's not going to be easy from here on out. The only way out is through the level 4 storage unit, but it's a mess down there. The Black Ops were using it as a staging point until the aliens came in. If you do make it through, make sure you have them come back for us.
I guess you're a good guy, April. Listen, you've got to get down below. There's something coming through, and it's the nastiest looking thing yet. Some of your buddies went down there a while ago, and I haven't seen them since. I've got some weapons I've piled up in here. You better take as much as you can carry, because I think this is it. Good luck, Corporal.
So, Corporal Shepard, we meet at last. Please don't think that I've been avoiding you. A great many matters require my attention in these troubled times. I do hope you understand. And now I require a further indulgence on your part. I cannot close my report until every loose end has been tied up. The biggest embarrassment has been Black Mesa facility, but I think that's finally taken care of itself. Quite so. But there is still the lingering matter of witnesses. I admit I have a fascination with those who adapt and survive against all odds. They rather remind me of myself. If for no other reason, I have argued to preserve you for a time. While I believe a civil servant like yourself understands the importance of discretion. My employers are not quite so trusting, and rather than continually subject you to the irresistible human temptation of telling all, we have decided to convey you somewhere you can do no possible harm, and where no harm can come to you. I'm sure you can imagine there are worse alternatives. <laughs> 